Hey what's up, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to the channel. So if you're trying to extract the weapon case from Koshi Complex at the moment in DMZ, then in this video I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks that have helped me with extracting all six, some of which you might not have realised you can even do. Before we jump into it though, if you do find some value in this video, please make sure to leave a like on it down below, and if you're not already, consider subscribing to the channel with notifications on to keep up to date with my other videos. So first things first, it's going to make a huge difference if you can use some of the stronger weapons in DMZ right now. One weapon I've been using a lot recently is the KV Broadside, which absolutely demolishes all of the AI and players at close range, which is ideal for inside of Koshi Complex. Another good option would be this build for the Bryson 800, or even the new FTAC Siege Pistol, which I'd go as far to say is actually overpowered in DMZ. As well as that, I'd also recommend using a Riot Shield. This is going to give you protection on your back at all times, and while you're in the complex, you can use it to help get through certain areas, like I'll explain a little bit later in the video. Once you jump into a game of Almazra, I'd recommend heading to the Almazra City entrance to the complex. This one is in the underground car park right next to the high-rise building. Basically just head down into the car park, find this door, and make your way down to the bunker entrance. Using this entrance is going to spawn you into the information extraction area of Koshi Complex, which in my opinion is one of the easier ways to get through to the main chemical plant darkroom in the middle of the map. By using either the FTAC Siege or the KV Broadside, you should find it a lot easier to take out the armoured enemies in this area, and you can use the Riot Shield to protect you against the sentry guns while you get behind them to take them out, or if you've got the cold-blooded perk from an X-Full Streak, the sentry guns won't target you. While you're making your way through this area, you're also going to be wanting to keep an eye out for some night vision goggles to help with navigating through the dark area once you get there. If you can't find any in this location to start with, then you can usually kill enemies within that dark room and they will drop them for you. It's also guaranteed in this area that you'll find both a car battery and jumper cables which you'll need to place into the power box to open up the door that takes you into the chemical plant. It'll be a bit easier just to find them in here rather than having to mess around before you extract in going to gas stations trying to find them first. Once you've opened that door into the chemical plant, you're then next going to need a factory admin key. These spawn each game inside of the wooden pathways that you have to crawl through in the middle of the chemical plant. If you already have one of these keys, then from the entrance to the chemical plant you can head right and follow the path that you see on screen at the moment and make your way to the Russian A2 entrance to the factory. Once you've used your key to open this up, Make your way down and again you can use your riot shield to protect you from the sentry gun. With this one though you can destroy it if you want to, or you can just leave it there as a bit of a defense against any other real players who come to this area behind you. Once you've made your way down and you get to the factory area, you'll see that along the side here you can jump down through this window, which is a quicker way to get through to the boss room. In the boss room when you're fighting the rhino, you can run straight up to him right at the very start and throw a shock stick at his feet which will stop him from moving and this will make it way easier for your team to take him out. And this is going to be even easier again if you're using the FTAC Siege or the KV Broadside. Once you've taken out the rhino, then next is the sniper. For him, you can either use the night vision goggles to see exactly where the lasers are that you need to crawl under, or better yet, you can use a DDoS field upgrade which will disable the lasers for a short time so you can run straight through and take him out. After killing him, pick up the key that he drops and make your way through to the locked room where the weapon case is located. From here, once you've got the weapon case, then all that's left to do is extract. For this, head back through the way that you came into the boss area and you can then jump onto the shelving and go back through the window that you jumped down from originally. From here you've got two options, you can either head back down into the chemical plant room and extract from one of the elevators in there, or if you have an L2 restricted key card, then you can head up the stairs next to the shop and follow this pathway down to the locked door. As you make your way through this locked area, you'll have some more AI that you need to fight, but once you make your way right the way to the end of this room, you'll have a secret exfil that you can leave from. Going into this area and using the secret exfil can be a good way to avoid other players that may come for you once you pick up the weapon case. 
and then again on top of that, not destroying the sentry gun when you first make your way into the factory will slow people down even more. If you're looking for other people to party out with to get this done, then feel free to jump into my Discord server which will be linked in the description below, and there's a DMZ weapon case channel that you can use to party out with other people. I hope that this video has helped you out, if it has, please make sure to leave a like on it down below, or if you've got any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to help out where I can. Alright, I'll catch you in the next one, you look after yourself, and take it easy.